Here's the thing on the back end, you, you have that same grip that I showed you. Same grip, even with your left hand. So the index finger is going to be stripped, spread from the middle finger on both hands. And now here's the, the thing that I hate about all rackets is they, they give you this little plastic thing. Mm -hmm. And now it's going to like hit your finger as you, as you set um, so. your left hand on the backing grip. And as you are maybe sliding the, the hand down from the throat, let's say you're holding the racket like this, mm -hmm. and you slide it down, you'll be hitting that plastic thing. So I always remove those. Okay. And you can as well if you want oh, and get rid of it. Yeah. There's really no purpose to it because you got a tape there anyway on the grip. I agree. Okay, so now you even looks a little bit like you have more space there. So look, uh -huh. to look at my hands. You see my left hand? Uh -huh. You see how it's in the same position? Uh -huh. Like that. Now, interestingly, there's a little bit of a difference where I told you, remember, to, to put the thumb uh -huh. on the middle finger on the right hand, not on the left. You won't be able to do this on the left. You got to put it on the top. Okay, okay so left thumb hits the uh, pointer finger, right thumb hits the middle finger. Okay. Remember that. That's the way you want to hold the racket on the back end. Now when I saw you hit back as there was exactly the same problem going on as you had on the forehand, you had a pretty nice finish, but the racket was going here mm -hmm. like this and it wasn't going back enough. Mm -hmm. Again, we have a problem with range of motion. We need that racket tip to at least go to this area right here to go back like this. Now what will happen when you, when you start accelerating more, the racket, if you start higher, is going to go down and then it's going to continue to go down and forward. When you start here, it's more of a rigid movement. It's a much smaller area that you can work with and you get a lack of power. When you get more pace coming, like on a return to serve, this technique is fine. Okay. You minimize your backswing. So return to serve or when you get somebody that hits very hard, this will work okay. But when the ball is slower, you need more room back here to be able to accelerate the racket. Okay, here's what the adjustment I would like to make. And I want you to, when you take your racket back here, I'm gonna set the racket for you. Go ahead and turn, turn, hold the racket. You can step across a little more with that right foot. Yep, that's fine. And now what I want you to do is extend the right arm. You keep the left arm bent. Extend the right arm, okay? Does it feel comfortable? Uh, it's different. Uh, like I this. Mean, and okay. the tip of the racket is gonna to be towards the, the sky, like this, okay. at an angle. Not like this, but like okay. this, okay? At an angle. Okay. All right, that's gonna be your position. The racket face does not need to be closed. Okay. It's un un unnecessary on the back end. You okay. keep the racket face neutral. Okay. Now, when, also, when you're set up, you want the, the, your, your shoulder blade to point towards me. So you want to be like this. Okay? Let me see. Let me see it again. Like this, right? But extend the right arm. See, I feel like you're too tight in here and you're dropping the racket to the outside. That's why I want you to extend the right arm a little bit more. Okay. And don't yeah, close the racket. Be, I used to be like both extended. Then. Not that way. You got to okay. extend towards the back fence. Okay. Because remember, we need range of motion. Okay. We, we just, the racket is not going far back enough. Okay. It's too much in this area. So extending here won't do anything. You gotta extend that way. Okay. And don't close the racket face. Keep it neutral. Okay. All right, like that. Like set it up like that, we'll see what happens, okay? Come on, set it up just like I showed you. Rack it up. And hold it there, you can hold it there. Set it up right away, there you go. Extend the right arm a little more, extend. You're doing a little thing there. You're extending, and right when the ball when the ball bounces, you go like you do a little uh, <laughs> your little thing here. You know, just keep the racket there. Okay. Keep the racket there. Okay. Extend the right arm more. Okay. When you see extend it, go ahead and put the racket back. Extend it so you can feel. So you can feel it in your back. Extend it so you can no, feel, feel it. You feel it here. Yeah. Do that. I want you to hit that spot. Okay? okay. We need that extension. Your favorite player, Djokovic. That's how he takes it back. There we go. There you go, feel it in the back. Come on, feel it in the back. Okay, again, you went, it's interesting what's happening. You're going back, but then when the ball comes closer, you, you go back, back okay. to this. See, here's the thing on the back end. The two-handed back end is, a lot of people don't know this, but it's one of the most complex shots in tennis. Because the structures of the arms, the way they're behaving throughout the stroke changes. So you're gonna yeah. start, look at this. Start straight here with this arm, bend with this arm. Then you might go into a completely bent position here with both arms. And then this arm might straighten on the finish, the left arm. So you go from straight here, bend here, straight here. Or you might have other arm structures. There's some variations within that too. But what you want to avoid is being bent in the back because that's going to hurt your range of motion. Okay. Okay, we got to fix that. So I want you to extend that right arm a little bit further. It's okay, come again. 
That was the cleanest one so far. Still a little twitchy back there. Come again. Stay there. Best one so far. Do it again. That was really twitchy. Did you feel it? A little bit. Yeah, a little. There was a little. The twitch is in the back. When, the, when you get ready to swing forward, you do a little twitch. So you want me to go... I want you to... See, when you... Straight. See, here's what's going to happen. Here, watch. Put your racket back. The racket will need to drop. Uh-huh. Okay? So you just wait longer in this position and then initiate the drop and just let it go. Okay. When you let it go, it's going to be correct. But unfortunately, you stay in here and then you're very close to the ball uh, bouncing. You do like a little, little move okay. where you twitch and you bend the arms. Okay. Yeah. You'll see it on camera. All right, so you keep the arms straight as long as possible. As soon as you, as you feel the racket dropping, you just accelerate and don't, from there on, don't worry about it anymore. Just make sure you finish all the way. Stay. There you go. That's it. It looks almost like a Leighton Hewitt backhand. You probably don't know who Leighton Hewitt is. Little twitch there again. Come again. It's not bad. Here we go. Back. Come on. Take it back as far as you can. Come on. Extend the arm. There's still a little twitch there. Come again. Yes. I love that one. Now we're talking. Look at this back end. So clean. Better and last one right here. Match points. Okay. That looks so much better. Can you remember to do this? Yeah. No. Stand. All right, so now one thing that's missing here, slide over towards me a little bit. Take your racket back. So right now, you're going to extend this arm. So right now, you're going here and then forward. Mm -hmm. So with time, when you get more acceleration, and when you actually start loosening the arms a little bit, because what I find with big muscles, the most difficult shot to execute with big muscles is a two-handed backhand. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like sometimes that's tight in here? Bad. You do feel it. Because if you look at like some, the best two-handed backhands, there's a lot of skinny guys, like Djokovic, Med like Medvedev, there's a lot sure, of skinny guys sure. there. So because the arms are going to be bend bending here, I feel like with muscles, it's a little bit tougher to bring it around. So what I'm saying is that eventually when the racket, when you get better at this, when you get more acceleration, I'll show you what the racket's going to do. Mm -hmm. Extend the arm. So it's going to go from here, here, here. It's going to drop and it's going to go here and it's going to go all the way over here to the point where your elbow is pointing backwards. No, not here. Rotate all the way. More, more. Rotate more. Oh, wow. Okay. Does that feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna to have to build up the tennis-specific oh. range of motion on this particular shot. Like I said, sometimes with muscles, it's a little bit more yeah. difficult to turn the back end. But let me show you. It's very similar to a golf swing. Watch. Racket's gonna go here, mm -hmm. here, here, mm -hmm. and now it's gonna go here. And now watch this. Here. You see this? Elbow all the way back. My chest is now pointed here. So I started from here. And I ended up here. That's a two-handed backhand. Your backhand, unfortunately, is just like your forehand. Often before it was going from here and then stopping here. And the arms were kind of taken over like this. So we're gonna, it's going to get a lot better, okay? But the step one is we have to fix your, your take back. Okay, I didn't like that backhand. You see, went to the, back to the old way. It was like this here. Yeah. Extend the arm more. Extend. There's still a little twitch back there. Keep the arm more straight like this, okay? Straighten it. More. Straighten the right arm more. Better, yes. Get the racket further back. Come. See, this is not enough. I want the racket to go towards the back fence, okay? Better. Better. Now, let me see one where you rotate a little more. You get... Your right elbow towards the back fence, like this. Right elbow towards the back fence. Get the racket pointing straight towards the back fence, like this. Better. More. It's not enough here, it's here. Come. Good, again. Come on, all the way back. Better. Way better. Much, much better. Very good.